community all over the place. In the players' lounge up here on the stage. But let's go, boys. We got little man. We got young Kim playing for the Madden 19 Batman. seasons on the line. What a start let's for Little Man getting a sack. Little Man getting the momentum on the first play of the game. I said this is a momentum game for Little Man. If he's able to steal that momentum, that is going to be his key to win the game. Do you think Little Man requested his coach in the game to be a little taller than he was? Or do you think he was like, make him 5'5", five, five. I don't care. <laughs> think, you think he's, he's like, I want a, I want a six foot two coach. You know, I think he's just happy to have his coach he's just gonna in be the, the game. game. Oh, for a guy that's been grinding as long as he has, uh, playing this game for as long as he has, that, that's got to be a dream come true to just see yourself in game like that. Uh, oh, no. Read a little oh, bit. nice way to turn it up field, though. And Mo, uh, you know Kiv. Uh, we saw Lil Man. He got a little chirpy in that game against some series. Is that going to be something that affects Kiv at all? I don't think so, but you may see Kiv get affected get if some things start to go against him. You notice in that ghost game, he started to talk to himself a little bit. I would like to see him stay away from that. That's when he's at his best is when he stays away from that, just plays his game. He knows he's one of the best players in the world. Just, just let your game do the talking. And to Kiv's credit, he has become so much better at that. In Kiv's earlier years, we used to see him get frustration. Sometimes his emotions would get ahead of him, uh, would get would get on him. But nowadays, he's just been so poised, but takes a big sack right there. And he's going to have to keep the emotions in check early because he's in trouble. Kiv's Reeves just not on point to start this game. He could have easily thrown that playmaker across the middle. He was hoping that the little man would leave the post, but he just didn't. It ends up taking a huge sack. Oh, no. Uh, he's, he's going, going for this, boys, on fourth and 20. It's do or Talk die. about momentum. Oh, man. Wild card matchup. Kiv looking for a huge momentum swing. Play to kick off the game. Look for this tight end. Lou, look for that running. Look for RB to get open on the sideline right here. You almost have to throw the streak on a deep corner. There's not many He's routes that are going to get you. He's got time. Downfield corner route. Good Swatted defense. It. Swats it away oh. using that user swap mechanic. Something we don't see too much here, but a great play by Little Man. And Mo called out the route, and I think Little Man was ready for it. Uh, I don't know if Kiv saw it, but it looked like that deep dig route on the backside was about to break open. Instead, he tries to force it down the field near the sideline, and now... Kiv's going to have to play catch up early because EMB Little Man is already in field goal range. That was huge for the little guy. To me, it's an interesting decision to go for it there. It's fourth and 20 on your first drive. You have to think that you're a better player than Little Man. Widely known as one of the best players. Little Man, people are kind of feeling like this is a Cinderella story. Why give him all that momentum early? I agree with you, Mo. The only thing I could think of is... Kiv just not believing in that defensive personnel. We know he spent, you know, 80% of that cap on the offensive side of the ball. He's counting on them to be able to get it done. But I'm with you, Mo. You got to punt in that situation. Force little man to really do work to earn those points. He could run the ball three straight downs right now and still get himself points. I think we're definitely going to see him start, or start with a run. Indeed it is. Show makes him good class on the interior. Talk about two different games. Uh, really two halves of the group play, Mo. Little Man, in his first two games, he averaged 318 yards per game against Drini. No touchdowns, five picks, a quarterback rating of 30. I don't think that's going to do it against Young Kim in the wild card round. It's absolutely not going to do it. Zero touchdowns, five interceptions. You have no chance of winning a mad game if those are your stats. And then some snuggies right here, a little gun tight. Look for that curl. Looks in on the right hip of Michael Vick at the helm for Lil Man. That's the curl right there, that slot receiver. Vic, second out. Great defense. Great pocket presence. Rolls out. Oh, I thought he was throwing it to him. Would have been a risky pass. I'm, I'm happy for Lil' Man to throw that away there. It would not have ended well. And, and you just saw Young Kiv just manually take away that curl. As Little Man started rolling out, he manually took away that playmaker. And again, if you want to play competitive Madden, that's why it is pivotal that you use and control one of those linebackers or safeties so you can be someone that takes away multiple routes and coverage. Your AI players aren't going to be able to do that for you. Watch for Julio over the middle. Flips the play on third and ten. Double, double, double. double. Vic. Oh, he hit the back of the head of one of his linemen and 
How about that, Mo? A little bit of a win there for Kim after not converting the fourth down. He's going to hold the little man to three. Absolutely, though. I go back to the point, though. If he would have punted the ball, he would have had a three and out, just like he did right there without giving up any points. I would have loved to see a punt there just because of the momentum that he gave the little man. And great defense right there to hold him to three. Now here we go. Kim's already been stopped once with that high-powered offense. He gave little man three points. Your tournament life's on the line. If you're the Keva, this is where you need to respond with your offense, right here. You don't want to let little man start getting in the groove, getting that momentum, or start chirping at you. This is where you got to march down the field, get yourself a tutty. Not only that, he missed a few reads, which we normally don't see from Kev nope. at all. They call him the robot. <laughs> there was a glitch in the robot on that first possession. He had to up upgrade his firmware. First and 10. Kev and Mike Vick. Left side, has a man. Oh. Good defensive play by Adams to pry that ball free. And one thing I want to say, Little Man's always been very good at clicking on. Mo, you're one of the best at doing that as well. You saw it as soon as that ball was in the air, Little Man switched onto that fender, got in there to break up that pass. Pay attention to how good Little Man's click on is on defense. He's one of the best. Second attempt for Kim. Second offensive drive, first one a four and out. Thick. Steps up, sits down, and boy, oh boy, early in this game, Mo, it has been the defense of Lil Man set the tone. He's missing some reads. He had that post coming wide open up the middle. Just take your time. Why are you trying to get up in the pocket? Just sit there. He would have had the post wide open. And even beyond the read, he had plenty of room if he got out that pocket to just take off with the Vickens. Absolutely. Pick up some yards with his legs. Timeout taken by Lil Man. Three nothing. Play. Low man with a lead. How about this? Third and 13. Kiv, no rhythm right now. Needs to find. This is a huge play. Some sort of offensive in him. Got Jerry Ross, Rice wide right, Moss wide left. Waiting. Turn out the playmaker. There's the playmaker. There's the nothing. Field. He's got nothing. And he's going to have to chuck it out of bounds. And if I know what's going to happen. I think we're going to see another fourth and long attempt. Absolutely. And Little Man is all over Kiv right now. I think Kiv's a little bit uncomfortable because of the fight that de Little Man's defensive line's having. But with that being said, he has those defensive linemen because he's not spending all that cap on offense that young Kiv is. So this is more manageable than the last one, but a big play nonetheless, boys. 22-yard line. Kiv has yet to have any sort of positive play on offense. Really go back to back four and out against this little man defense. Vic, waiting, looking, stepping. Left side has a man, there's the Kiv we know and love, a dot to the left Great side. Great patience by young Kiv. A player like me might have got rid of it a little early thinking that the pressure was gonna get there. Great patience on fourth down by young Kiv. Yeah, that was the key to that play was the pass protection. You give Kiv all day back there to sit down, survey the field. It's only a matter of time before he docks you up. There you go, back to back completions for Kiv. Although he's caught that, he's missing reads. He had a corner on the right side wide open. I know it's a lot easier for us to sit back and say that, but those are the types of things Kiv does not miss. On the other end of it, Mo, if you're a little man, it's got to be a little frustrating. You get him to a second, fourth down, you got a chance to really punch him in the mouth and then you give up that first down and let Kiv all the way back into the ball game with that momentum. That could be very frustrating for Little Man. There's a nice read, though. Noticing the flat route, nobody over there to cover it and pick it up a first down. See a lot of Shannon Sharps here in salary cap mode. On the top tight end, so tough to bring down. He gets young Kiv a first down to the 36-yard line. Vic. Steps Got up. him. Oh, Great missed three again. I'm telling you, he's missing some reads. What is going on? Shannon Sharp running wide open across the middle for it would have been a 20-yard game minimum. Hey, let's go. This is this is just uncharacteristic. That, that I, even I saw oh, that oh. wide open, that deep cross over the middle. Oh, eagle, eagle. Three nothing to score. Oh, hey, Low man. With a four and out on Kim, turn that into a field goal. Right now, Kim driving down the field. Nice blitz. Nick, pressure coming, but a great job getting rid of the ball. And a beautiful throw over the middle. Finally, it looked like Kim with a good read.
See, then me right there, I'm throwing the drag every time, and that's why he is who he is. He's going to put it together. He's not going to continue to miss those reads, you wouldn't think. I would have thrown the drag 10 out of 10 times right there, and he has enough patience to throw that post run. The little man trying to be sneaky, mixing a little bit of blitz, sent the heat. Like Mo said, Kiv sniffs it out immediately, hits him with the post route for a big game, and now the Kiv is moving. Near the end of the first quarter, how about that rushing attack? Ricky Williams, the Miami Dolphin great, the Texas Longhorn great, picking up one. It looks like the controllers are down, and we're gonna head to the second quarter. Defense the answer so far. Three nothing. Little man with a slim lead, but young Kim. Knock, knock, knock it on touchdown store. As we head to the second quarter. Kim 10 yards out. Kind of facing a second and nine. Let's get a gun punch there. Get Kim flipping the play. Eagle, eagle. Jerry Rice alone on the right side, boss in motion. Kim steps up, back of the end zone. Shannon Sharp can't come up with a catch. Great defensive play by Lil Man. There we go. This is a big third and nine here because this isn't two down territory. If the Kiva doesn't get this first down or score right here, he's going to have to settle for three. This is a big momentum play for young Kiff right here and Little Man. I would look for him to rely on that wheel on the left hand side. He's probably going to flip the play here, it comes. There it is. Crucial play, can Kim put six on the board. Play clock down to five, hey. There's the wheel, didn't throw it. Looking, nobody there, back in the end zone. Oh. 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 He doesn't come down with it, a defensive play by Little Man, safe six. What a great playmaker, an even better way of Little Man to rip that out of there. Oh, that was a huge, huge play. Kip looking to get back all the momentum, go down, get himself a scoring drive. It hooks up the crispy playmaker, like Paul said, and then Little Man getting his defender over there, gets the catch tackle, knockout. We got a tie ball game on Elimination Friday. Instead of a 7-3 game, we got a 3-3 ball game. Locked in double, at double, the double. pods. On, this on. is do or die. Winner stays in and plays tomorrow in the quarters. Loser hangs out in the players lounge with Rico. Pick, middle of the field. Julio can't make the catch. As we take a look at our quarterfinals tomorrow, Skimbo taking on Canes, Pavin taking on Spoto, Ghost and Dreaming waiting for the uh, results of these ones, these games today. And, Joining us, we got Skimbo and Canes. Uh, they're gonna be facing off tomorrow. Skimbo, three-time belt winner. Let's start with you. What, what are you. what are you looking forward to most tomorrow? I know you weren't too happy with how you played on day one, but are you excited just to get the controllers back in your hands? Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. You know, Canes is a really good player. I know he's gonna be ready for the 5-2, so I gotta be ready to make adjustments out of it that I think he's gonna make too. So it's gonna be a pretty good chess match tomorrow, I believe. Canes, and when you're looking at this matchup against the three-time belt winner, what concerns you the most uh, playing a guy like Skimbo? Well, I just know he's going to be more prepared on defense, and I think he is. He always looks real simple, and it seems like it's easy to game plan for, but whenever you get into the game with him for real, it's uh, it's always tougher than you think. And, and Skimbo, Canes, he goes 3-0 through his group. What impressed you the most about his play yesterday? Yeah, I mean, Canes, Canes is a really good player, you know. Uh, He's been almost making these breakthrough moments, and uh, I'm not going to lie, I hope he can't make it tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. At Canes, you're hoping you do make those plays, right? Let's yeah. just make sure we're all clear. Yeah, for sure. I need my get back from Madden 17 when he popped me. Hey, man, I popped a lot of people that tournament, but. All right, let's wrap this up. Let's get <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> what, a, what a matchup we're going to have, Mo. These two players, this is going to be a phenomenal game. And we can't wait to see it tomorrow. Skimbo, Canes, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Good luck tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of this wild card game. They got no pressure on them. They're already in. Skimbo won his wild card game yesterday. Canes didn't even have to play one. That's not the case for the current game going on. A lot of pressure 
right now on Kevin Little Man. It's Little Man moving the ball up the field. Got himself in a third and five. This is going to be a big play right here. Third and five, Little Man. Deep down the field, has a big hit. Oh, 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 oh. And it's recovered by Young Kim. He's on his own. He's got some room. What? 30, 20. Will Vic catch it? He'll make the tackle on the 13 yard line. Hey, RG, he may not have a lot of cap, but they can still make plays. All right, if you're going to make plays, you got to do it with your user defender. Kim clicks onto him, uses that hit stick mechanic, punches Little Man right in the mouth, picks up the ball, almost there for six. But the ultimate pick, pick six stop from Mike Vick, saves a touchdown. But now the momentum is back in the Kivis court. That was huge. And now 13 yards away. We're going back on Got top. Him. Back of the end zone. Has Let's him one-handed. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy for the defending Madden Bowl chain. And little man had all the momentum in the game. He almost stopped Kivis second drive. Had him at a fourth down. Couldn't get off the field. And then he fumbles nearly for six, and then on the first play, gives up a touchdown. All the momentum's gone. If you're a little man, you have to find a way to put together a drive here. And you know what? In real life, they tell you, throw it over the middle of the field. That guy was wide open. It's dangerous. You can get your players injured. So since there's no injuries in Madden, the one thing you have to watch out for in that situation is throwing him into traffic so he can get big hit and cough it up. Kiff takes full advantage of it, makes him pay the price. And now the little guy, little man, Justin Barone from Tom's River, New Jersey. He needs to respond. I wonder when we're going to get our out of position Mike Vick at linebacker. Because he made a nice tackle from behind to save a touchdown. Still left side. Jones doesn't get the feet in bounds. It's honestly another one of those benefits of having the mobile quarterbacks. If that's like a Tom Brady or whoever, a slower quarterback, that's a pick six. 10 out of 10 times, but when your QB has 97 speed, he's gonna be able to hop those defenders down and save those pick sixes. It didn't matter though, because Kim still able to turn it into a touchdown. Let's throw over the middle. Vic completes it. It's gonna bring up another third down opportunity for Lil Mac. How about young Kim? Made over $200,000 playing Madden football. Every game he goes into, you know you're going to get your opponent's best shot as you're one of the biggest names in the community. And he just continues to perform time and time again. Waiting. Good defense down the field. Great patience by Little Man. He's making good reads. He is. He's making some good reads in this game so far. Now how tough is that defensively, Mo? You got to choose whether you're going to stay on that hitch route or follow that post down the field. You just got to stay committed to one, because if not, you'll give them both up, and then it won't matter what read your, your opponent makes. You got to take away one. Your opponent's going to make mistakes sometimes, and that's what you got to hope for. We've hit the two-minute warning. It's 10-3. to three. Gee, I know... Uh, Kiv recovered that, it got that fumble, returned it back. It still feels like it's anybody's game. Oh, remember, little Kiv got the ball first, so little man gets the ball to start the second half. So if he goes down here, gets himself the tutty, ties this up, we're going to have action in the second half, and the momentum will be back in little man's court. But, you know, getting a tutty against young Kiv, easier said than done, even with his depleted defense. Uh oh. Stumbling, bumbling, no gain on the play. But Mo, I, I, that's what has impressed me about Lil Man's offense is he's taking what the defense gives him and not forcing anything downfield. Absolutely. He's making good reads. Something I'm noticing a lot of Lil Man's deep routes are getting bumped by Kiv's slot cornerback. I, I haven't seen that too much in this tournament. I don't know if it's something Kiv knows that other players don't know, but he's bumping that most important receiver, number 11. And he's bumping him off the line of scrimmage when he can't run his route. Well, it looks like saying, he's free here. Other players might not have known it. They know it now. You pointed yeah, it out. We're going to see that tomorrow. It's Vic. Oh, he's, he's, he's got, got him. He's got Moss. Where did that Drop come from? Oh, my the God. Bucket to Randy Moss. Look at him. Little man still alive. How deep was that post route and how much arm strength does the Vickens have? I thought the little guy was done for. And what a then throw. He, oh, he let that rip. I'm not even looking down there anymore after that. No after, way. after after all that time went off. I was wondering what's going on, and then you see the receiver coming out of nowhere, just drops it right in the basket. Fair, fair to say that was a dot. Is Absolutely. That, is that fair? Oh my gosh, that's not a dot. That's a spot. Now Kim getting the ball back. Look at this one more time. Just throw that from let's see, 35-yard line to the end zone. 
How about a, how about a cool 65 yards in the air for Michael Vick? And really, only a Madden Ultimate Team will you see Michael Vick get the slang the ball to Randy Moss. It's one of my favorite things about this mode. Imagine if those guys ever connected in real life. How about this? Spot in the corners on the line. Loser goes home. It's a 10-10 ball game. Kim rolling right. Loser by little Dropping man. back. Throws it out of bounds. Kim's offense has been phenomenal this tournament. 241 yards per game through the air. That's only on five-minute quarters. Little man has great defense. He's always had great stick and, and a great defense. I'm really surprised at Kiv. He's getting out of the pocket a lot, and he's going to take a, an intentional grounding before too long. Eagle, Eagle. You got to base 52. Minute 13 to go. Kim looking nice before the half. Second and 10. No. This defense has been amazing. He's locked. He's all over Kiv right now. Blow it, He's man. Throw it away Blow. again. Oh. And there's the chirping. Little man's trying to get in Kiv's head. Yeah, Little man's getting pumped up. And here's the thing. Kiv's got himself in a situation. Remember, Little man gets the ball to start the second half. If you're the Kiv, the last thing you want to do is let him get the ball back before the end of the second half and let him double dip the chip. There's a huge down. Can take a lot of pressure off yourself if you're able to pick this up. This is big and look at that Kiv. clock. You gotta stop here, a minute left. Vic. Pocket. Down goes Vic, Ball comes out, it's an incomplete pass to Little Man. Standing up tall to the robot's defense. Little Man truly is all over Kiv right now. Kiv's not having any time to make his decisions. He's throwing the ball two plays in a row, throwing the ball away two plays in a row, and that play he had no chance of anything happening. And now he's going to go for it, fourth and ten. Probably the biggest momentum play of the game right here. Because if Little Man can stop him, it's three points plus ball at half. This is huge. Big play after big play, especially in elimination games here at the Madden Ball. We've seen Kip convert one out of these two fourth downs. Fourth and ten. No nope. corner out. That's not open. Man. Somebody get Kip a Snickers or something because his offense does not look like we are used to seeing. We should be thankful just for that. throw it over there like thankful. Wayne. It's just going to be a blowout. And here's the thing. You see little man talking crazy like this. You got to remember, he's from the old school. He's back from those tournaments where everyone was gathered around you talking crazy. That's just the way that he came up playing Madden. So he's going to let you hear about it when the time comes. Remember those days, Mo. Back in the day, and those you know those underground tournaments that you and Little Man came up in. I mean, trash talk was a staple. We've definitely dumbed it down a little bit. Absolutely. But my favorite part about the game, maybe, is is how how fiery everybody is. How bad everybody's will to win is. You know, people just show it in different ways. Right now, you see Young Kiv not saying absolutely anything. He's completely frozen. Step all the thickies, boy. And, and gee, I think maybe the most impressive part about Little Man right now, he's playing with so much confidence. He really believes he deserves that belt. He's been doing this for almost 12 to, you know, 15 years, it feels like. I mean, he's going to leave it all out there. That's one thing that little guy's always done. He's not going to have any regrets by the time he leaves this building. He's going to give it everything he got. Drop play goes nowhere. Timeout taken by Little Man. If you're a little man, you got to be careful down here. You cannot turn the ball over. You have all the momentum in the game right now. He's saying, you lock, you lock to Kiv, and he, he really is locked up right now. Don't put yourself in a position to lose this game in the first half. You want the touchdown, but, yeah, you have to be willing to settle for three. Eagle, eagle. You just have to play it safe here. Base 24. There he goes. Mixing. Oh, Ooh, boom. big hit, looking for the fumble from that Kiv defense. He's already forced one today. Little man's over it. We're going to see him take it to the half here. Oh, maybe not. He'll kick that field goal. I don't think so. I think he's going to run another play. Think, I don't know about this. I don't think he would have called the timeout that early. Yeah, he's I going I don't know for about it. this. Wow, what a what a bold call from one of our boldest players oh, oh. in Little Man. If you're Kiv right here, you kind of want to play coverage. Hope you, hope you can get him to forget about that clock. Vic. Left side, uh -oh. triple coverage. Oh, my. Look at all those blue jerseys. Think Look at he, he waves it off. You think, no, no, you think he was ready for that wheel run? No big <laughs> deal. I just threw it in triple coverage. Hey, guys, no big. It's just triple coverage, though. So. Got to make sure he doesn't get his kick blocked here. Already seen special teams. Big part of this Madden Bowl. 
Five seconds Perfect left, kick. ball is down, kick is up right down the middle with one second remaining. Boy, who would have thought? And the we got another game. Who would have thought at the beginning of the Madden Bowl that Lil Man would be up three? Uh, going into half against Kevin. We got a little bonus coverage. Oh, gee, Four look at that. to ten. They're in the fourth quarter already. This game is flying. Oh, my goodness. And we got some serious with the ball down four to Kratovin. Right fourth. side has a man. Andre oh. Roberts inbounds. A reminder, this is just like the game we're watching. It's a wild card game win. And you go to the quarters tomorrow, lose, you're hanging out in the players' lounge the rest of the tournament. Absolutely. Kurtovin with the lead here. Another guy no one gave any chance to. I've known him for a couple years now. Solid kid. Really good at Madden and only getting better. And how great is this Madden Bowl field? You've got three-time belt winners. you got past belt winners. you got guys looking for redemption. It's as deep of a field as oh. you've ever seen. What a miss on first down from some serious 303 to go here it is for some serious you know field goal not really no good right here get down four points you need to go down right now get yourself six Detroit! 14 10 for tobin's on top but some serious Detroit! putting together a drive lamar jackson Great at defense. the helm looks left side that's eddie george oh. 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 Is that that ronnie lot you think they're hitting hard over there you think you think these guys want to First couple fumbles, lay some lumber. I mean, when you put Ronnie Law at corner, that's why you do it. It's the type of guy that can make an Eddie George pay for trying to truck him, and Kratobin sure did. That was a mean hit stick from right, Christian Lomenzo, a.k.a. Look Kratobin. How about this? Some series is averaging 144 yards on the ground this tournament. And right here, he's having to put together a drive through the air. But, Mo, we've seen when some series is forced to pass the ball, he's still incredibly accurate. Absolutely. I think his only issue is when he is passing the ball, it's a lot of times everybody knows he's passing the ball. He doesn't put himself in very many positions to where he can where he throws the ball on first down, and that's that's not a good thing. You need to, you need to mix it up sometimes. Sometimes come out and throw on first down. He's a little deception. 14-10, Kertobin on top. Left Ooh. side. That's Eddie George. Oh, get the fumble. Get the fumble. Get the oh. He got it. Eddie George got it. Eddie Eddie George. George. Look How at Kratobin. He, he can't believe it wasn't recovered. I thought it was a drop pass. Yeah, it was a fortunate fumble to begin with, and then probably even a more fortunate recovery. Look at this one more time. It's that little angle route, completion, two steps, ball comes out, and just a miss on the recovery by your defense. Eddie George. He's been doing it for this guy some serious. Eddie George is averaging 100. You guys 100 thought Eddie George wasn't going to recover that? No, no. <laughs> and he's done it all. He's averaging 144 yards per game with Eddie George on the ground. Look at Eddie go. First down, eight yards away. 25 carries, 139 yards in this game for Eddie George. But this is where it gets stingy. Oh, man, this is awesome. This is the matter ball action I like to see. Look at that. Ooh. 125 to go. First timeout taken by Kratobin. He's starting to think, much like Kim did in that first Group C game, about I might get the ball back and I'm going to need to have some time on the clock. Detroit! Detroit! Lamar. Left side, Lamar! Oh. Oh. Defense by Kratobin. Real quick, let me have some fun in the chat. Does Kratobin hold the door and lock up right here? Give me a one. Does some serious punch it in for six? Give me a two. Where's your head at? 121 to go. Third and goal. Jackson. Oh, he steps up. Take it on. Oh. He's into the end zone. How about some serious with what might have been a money drive for the quarterfinals? But look at that clock, Mo. That's a lot of time left for Kratoma to get down the field. It only needs a field goal to tie it up. Absolutely. He's going to have a chance here. Just play your game. Stay locked in. What a finish for a spot in the quarterfinals, RG. These guys, they're locked in. They want it. Did you see that game face from Kratobin? He didn't look phased at all. He kind of wiped the sweat off his palms and kind of gave a look like he's ready to rock. Let's see if he can get it done. The winner of this game gets ghost. We look at this one more time. Recognize the middle of the field's ah, wide open. Ah. Lamar Jackson, he's too fast to not have a spy on him. Yeah, Kratobin left the middle of the field wide open, and he was occupying with his user, so he had to make a decision. He's going to guard the wide receiver, or is he going to contain the quarterback? Detroit! Just a just an interesting go, defensive go, play going out there. What a finish in this game, and look at oh. some series. He's running the defense. He has all 
tournament long. That 5-2. Oh. High pass. Randy Moss comes down with it. And let's remember here, boys, last time these guys go, played go. each other, some serious eliminated Kretobin from the club championship in the final four. Go on, go on. So Kretobin with a chance to get a little bit of revenge right now on this drive. Oh, okay. Moss breaks the tackle. He'll get another first down. Ghost, he's locked in on this one as this is going to be who he faces tomorrow. A reminder, guys, don't miss out on tomorrow's action. We're crowning on that a 19 champion. 17-14, some serious on top. Kretobin with the ball. One timeout. Playing so aggressive on defense. Freeman. We're getting after him, though. Oh, he's lucky. He was maybe just outside of the pocket. He is sending any, anyone and everyone. Now's if, the time to do it. Yeah, if Kretobin finds a way, though, to pick up this blitz, he's going to have people open deep downfield. The question is, can he pick it up? 46 seconds remaining. Look at all those wounds. Oh, another defensive play. Boy, that defense from some serious. They're trying to get him a spot in the quarterfinals. If you're Kretobin, you just, you're just saying, Jerry, come on. I need you to come down with that. And to keep your Madden season alive, move you on to the Elite Eight, get yourself a nice little $2,500 cash infusion. Don't go anywhere, guys. We got second half of Lil Man and Kib coming up. Great read. Oh, oh, quick oh. out, Rice breaks the tackle, but it's oh, going to be a fourth down play for Kutobin. And he used the last time out. I love him using the last time out right there. Get your best play on the field. It's fourth and three. You're going to have plenty of time if you convert this anyways. I love you getting your best play on the field. It's not just any fourth and three. This is fourth in the season. Ball game on the line. Jackson in the shotgun. Look at everybody in the box for some serious. He needs a stop. Just outside of field goal. Oh! It's a free first down, a huge mistake from some series. Oh, oh my no. goodness. I almost ripped my headset off, I was so shocked. Here's how pumped we are. We got Lil Man stand up watching this game. If you're Kurtobin, you still need a few more yards. It's like he's going for it all, RG. Nice coverage this time. He's oh, he has him, man. That's Randy Moss again. He's Take in it. field goal range. That's one of those times you didn't need to use the high ball. You would have got way more yards. You could have caught it with a rack instead of an aggressive catch right there and caught way more yards and got out of bounds. Yes, he, getting out of bounds would have been the key part because it's ticking, boys. It's moving. Jackson. He's got him. It's the wheel again. That's Get Jerry out. Rice out of bounds. Oh, 17 man. seconds. Kirk Tobin. He's 14 yards away from the quarterfinals. So I'm serious. He's known for his defense. If you're Looking to hold the door. If you're Kotobin, keep going back to that same wheel route. It's been working its way down the field. No timeouts remaining for Kotobin. Jackson. Back of the end. Julio! Let's go! Julio! 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 Julio's catch! OMG! That may have sealed a spot for Kotobin in the quarters. Wow. Tobin with the pass, so serious, looking back at the end zone, saying, Julio, no, that the kick is up and good. 13 seconds, Kretobin, a four-point lead. If you're something serious, you're going to be thinking about that offsides for a long time. Oh, man. You are not joking, Mo. And how about Kretobin? You said it. Nobody believes in this young man time and time again. He continues to believe in himself. And look at him deliver right here. Up top. Oh, my goodness. How does he come down oh. with that, RG? Oh, it's Huli Mongoli coming through in the clutch. Look at the look players. At the they don't even look know how to act. Ha. He climbed the elevator, went down to floor one. That was a touchdown. Does some series have a miracle? He He's breaks the tackle. Let it rip. Seven seconds. Chuck it up. Man downfield. Oh. Great defensive oh. play. One Left. He had one on one. I, I, I thought he, if he threw it earlier, it looked like the receiver in the left slot up the seam might have got a step, but then he started scrambling, rolling out. And now it comes down to this. He's going to have one Hail Mary shot. He Give called. It. I like the timeout there. Give it to Eddie George. <laughs> Give it to Eddie George. You might as well. Here it goes, though. Last, last play of the season for one of these players. Make it a little easier. 
put it at the 30-yard line. I don't think he can make it to the end zone. Give it to Eddie George. This is insane. That's our best chance at scoring. Give it to Eddie George. Watch him work. Four seconds remaining. Look at Gratobin. He's got the three safeties. Quarters three deep. One, two, three. Back there. Jackson. Needs oh, he's under pressure. Play. He's got to let it rip. Some serious. Oh, wait. Short of the end zone. Picked off. Uh, and your Madden Challenge champion. Looking for legitimacy. You, my friend, have gotten it with a big win over one of the dark horses in the tournament. Kratobin, 21-17. We got more action as we come back to our game. Young kid, little man. It's a three-point ball game over here, but Archie, how about the youngin? Kratobin with a masterful win. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this is what it's all about. If you're not entertained with that, I don't want to do business with you. Congratulations to Kratobin. Keep your head up, son. Serious. You were one of the most fun players to watch all season long. We're going to see him back in the match. Oh, he gained so many fans. I truly hope we do. But guess what? We still got a whole other second half here in the Kip Little Man game. Now both of these guys are playing for their MCS season. Both players get a little bit of a break. I think the advantage goes to Kiv. Little man had all the momentum. I think the advantage might go a little bit to kill. It's a good point, Mo. Ghost yep. now knows his opponent, Dreeny, waiting for hit. Hey. Underneath. Spin move. Oh. And if you're a little man, you're asking yourself why you fumbled. That's exactly why right there. You cannot be doing that. And that's Terrell Edmonds. That's one of Kiv's biggest hitters on that defense. I believe he's got 90 plus hit power with the big hitter trait. Second and eight. Eagle, Eagle. And it's a black two man. Eagle, Eagle. Well, man with the lead and the ball to start the second half over the middle of the field. That's who Ooh. Boy, this kid defense hitting hard, trying to force some turnovers. That was a good high ball right there, Kiv. Just lurking underneath that route, a step behind it. Little man with an accuracy high ball. Kiv's user can't get to it. Eagle, Big Eagle. first down. 13-10. Eagle, Eagle. Eagle, Eagle. So we're in the second half of our second wild card game. Win, you're in. You get to come back tomorrow and play. Lose, you just get to be a spectator. How about this? The defense from Kim Vaughn Miller making a play. That's what Kiv's defense is going to have to do, is make some defensive plays, get the ball back. This is the first drive of the second half. Second and long. Flipping the play. I would love to see Kiv bring pressure again. And he is. He puts five. Little man's got all sorts of time. And downfield has a man. He dropped it's it. on the money, but a great defensive play to keep from a huge play for the offense. We just saw Kratobin come away with a huge victory to move on to the quarterfinals. We got him join us right now. Kratobin, congratulations. Take us through that last drive, what you were feeling, and how good it feels to win that game. Um, yeah, so on the last drive, I was trying to get in field goal range. Um, he had me on a fourth and three. I was in a pretty bad spot. I had no timeouts, I don't think. Um, and he jumped off sides with his user. Uh, so that gave me a first down. And then I was at about the 40 yard line and then I started dotting up the field and then I got out of bounds with about 17 seconds and I told told my receivers go make a play and I just threw it up there and I got real lucky on the catch and we came down with it. For Tobin, this is serious Mo here. Hey man, uh, how much pressure did it relieve when you seen he went off sides on that fourth and three? It changed everything. I, I, the whole, I can do. I can run any play in my playbook. On fourth and three, I have to uh, complete the pass, or else the, the game's literally over. So that really took all the pressure off. Absolutely, man. Hey, congratulations. I've known you for a while now. I'm, I'm extremely happy for you. It, Thanks, Mo. Hey, Kratom, before we let you go, uh, we talked about how this tournament's about respect for you. You win that belt, but you're looking to prove yourself in salary cap. You're on to the quarterfinals. Do you feel like you've earned some of that respect? Uh, yes, I do, but I also feel like everybody should give some serious uh, the utmost respect. He he has a unique play spot, play style. He's really good, and he pretty much played perfect that game versus me. Uh, 
except for like a fumble that he couldn't control. So I have the utmost respect for some series. Well, ton of respect your way. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow in the quarterfinals. Take it on, Ghost. Back to the action, 13-10. Little Man in business after a deep pass puts him in the red zone. Yeah, when we were gone, Little Man converts a third and 18 to that post route. It seems like that's the only route he's been throwing on Kiv. If you're Kiv, you have to find a way to defend that route. If you're Kiv right now, you need to find a way to stand up for yourself and prevent Little Man from getting a touchdown and making this a two-score ball game. Vic, Good waiting, defense. looking. Dang. There's the defense from young Kiv is Frank Clark. The now former Seattle Seahawks making a play. Now the pressure's a little bit switched. If you're young Kiv, it's gonna be really, really difficult for Little Man to score right here. If you're Little Man, just do not turn the ball over. You're never gonna score from right here. Run the ball, don't do anything dumb. Absolutely, and that's what he does. Third and 19, he just hands it off. A nice, safe play, and if you're Little Man, you gotta be trusting your defense considering how well they've played against Kiv in the first half. Absolutely, and I love the conservative call there. I, I know a lot of people in the chat probably wondering what he's doing, but that's a great call right there. I'm curious, Mo, would you start milking this clock right now, or if it, is it too early to start thinking about that? It's too early for both players. It's up and good. RG, we started the day, we looked at the groups. I don't know how many people had in a wild card game. Lil Man with a six point lead over the defending Madden Bowl champ in the second half. I mean, like Mo said earlier, nobody had him coming out of this group. And just much like Kratobin, Little Man continues to believe in himself. He knows he can play at the highest level. And he's obviously playing with a lot of confidence because here he is up six, like you said, against the defending champion. A couple stops away from moving on in this tournament, but that's easier said than done when you're dealing with the Kiva. And Mo, there are a lot of people who would much rather play as that underdog role because you have none of the pressure on yourself and you can go out and play loose. First and ten. Deep down the scene. There's a throw. That's Jerry Rice. How about that? One play, he's already passed midfield. Absolutely, and to go along with that underdog role, you'll see some players that aren't exactly underdogs try to take on that role. Try you know, to be just, the underdog. Yeah, just to take some pressure off them, and uh, it's definitely, it definitely does relieve some pressure, but a hey, little man's out here fighting. He doesn't, he, may, he doesn't see himself as an underdog. Everybody else might perceive him as that, but little man's out here playing just like young Kiv is. Now first and 10 for Kiv. Gets out of the pocket. Got him. Boy, this has been the story though, RG. It has been chasing out of the pocket, and there's nobody open downfield. A little man's been playing good defense, and one of the things, it's not super consistent, but every now and then he's generating pressure with that three or four man rush, getting some block sheds. And we talked about it earlier, he spent a little bit more cap on his defense. So far, that's paid wonders for him. This is the first game I've seen in a while. Young Kib just has not had a clean drive on offense. Second and ten. Right side. It's so late. And it's late. So late. It's late. And it, you know, it's only a three-man rush. You know, kid that pressure. I think he kept in an extra player to block right there. And Kiv just having trouble picking up on one little man sending the dogs when he's dropping coverage, causing Kiv to, you know, block receivers when it's unnecessary or send too many out when the heat's coming. Little man calling a great defensive game so far. He might have him, RG. He might have him up the middle. Looking up the seam. Gonna be close. He oh! it in the bucket, Kim. He wants that second man in ball belt. He's capping back at Little Man. Saying, talk now, talk now. A little bit of a lucky play right there. Definitely a play you needed. Huge, huge, huge. Three defenders around him. Comes down with it. How about serious Mo getting his three-eyed raven on over there, Nick? He saw that developing from a mile away. I think I think it commentated. That's his, I think people are saying he's put his Romo on. That's a little Tony Romo-esque. And here we go. Young Kim up one point. You've been playing the game of your life with your little man. You get the ball back. What are you going to do? And what do you see here, Mo? Look at this throw. I knew right when the ball was snapped he was looking for that streak. Once the ball snapped, that's the only guy he's throwing to on that play. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, Talk yeah. now! Talk now! Oh, yeah! Normally, like we've seen him here. He's usually calm, cool, and collected, but 
Eagle, Eagle. He's letting the emotions come out because he knows how important this is. I, I know Eagle. the Avengers are hot in the street right now. I thought Kip was going to turn into the whole the right again. He's got it again, RG. Oh, no. He's down the field. Oh, oh he him. How does young Kip just was, keep giving that up? I, was, you, was that a rack? Like he was maybe going for a rack oh, catch or was it an overthrow? It was an overthrow. You, you know he what, was going for a rack catch, but it was an overthrow. You know what I feel like is everyone's no, no, used to no, guarding no, that no, patch no. sale, which is a shorter post route coming underneath the field, so you're not used to having to drop oh, back oh. that deep. Little man obviously has the deep post route coming deep across the field, and it's just getting behind the user time and time again. Uh oh. Oh, oh no! He didn't pick at all. I don't think Little Man wanted that to be a good throw. <laughs> I don't think he did. I think Kiv might have got there with his you user. Think he lurked it. I think he might have. Oh man, this is good job, Madden football. Hey, There's hey. something special in the atmosphere hey, when you get to those elimination games, and it's win or go home. And you can just feel the tension in the room, the tension on that stage. Kiv's going to be blitzing here almost 100% of the time. It's intense hey, in here. Hey, hey. Anytime you see people go to this nickel normal defense, they always send pressure because the, the block shed just isn't as good. There's the pressure. Six, six, here he goes. Oh, yeah, oh, down man. goes. Take the defense for Kiv. Step it up. Now let's see what Little Man does. Does he risk going for this fourth and long and giving Kiv the easy field possession? Because we know Little Man's been playing phenomenal defense all day. I think he's going to go for it, RG. I think we're probably going to see that wide receiver post play Looking again. Looking for that post over oh, the top. Oh, man. Absolutely. If you're Kiv, are you dialing it up right here, Mo? You have to. Why not? You can't go away from it. Is he going to send the goons? One, two, three. Those are the goons you got to watch There's out even for. Somebody back there hiding who's probably blitzing. Hey, hey, hey. sending out. He's running back. He's never going to have time to throw it. Oh, you he put him back in the bucket block. Here come the goons. Here they come. No, nope, they're not coming, RG. He's got him. Oh, oh, what a catch and Oh, traffic. my goodness. Little man getting the big play. It, it, Everyone, a take a breather. That's why Get a drink. Those guys. Fours in the chat. Tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell your best friend, get here. We're five minutes away. It's a one-point game. You better be spamming those darn fours in the chat right now because this has been one heck of the ball game, and we're in the last quarter. And don't forget, we got all sorts of action on day three. Skimbo and Kane. Pavin taking on Spoto. Ghost, we know he's taking on Kratobin. Drini waiting for this matchup. Little man. Great defense. Oh, he came back late. Well, come back oh. round. That's Moss. He'll pick up nine. It's just really intense right now. Neither of these players look too comfortable on offense. And, and you know what? You just can't be comfortable in this situation. You know, if you're little man, you know how good hey, young go. Kiv is on offense. You got to feel it's already been a oh, blessing oh. how many stops you can get. If you're young kid, you haven't been playing your best game, you're dealing with the feisty little man. This is anyone's ball game. Pull back dive with Sharp. Pick up the first down right there. No man just wanting to get over that first down line and a new set of downs. And one thing I noticed right there, little man, he let that play clock right here wind all the way down to two seconds on that last play. Let's see if he starts continuing to milk this clock to leave Kiv as little time as possible. That's going to be a tough task, though, with over four minutes left in this fourth quarter. But yeah, he's, it's Kiv. Look at that. Snaps it a little early right there. Over the middle. Right over the head. Oh. Linebacker, how about the hits here in this wild card matchup? You're not going to get hit much harder than that. And that's a user hit stick. Yeah, you're just not. But now Little Man has almost no chance of taking all that game with him. As, as Kiv, that's kind of a relief, although you do want that ball to come free. But you know that you're going to get the ball back right now, especially when Little Man snaps that ball so early. Great defense. Great defense. Oh, what a lurk. Great defense. Oh, there you go. It, it, it just seems like Mo, Drini's defense, or excuse me, Kiv's defense is trying to put together back-to-back -back plays. We've seen him get a couple sacks, but it's the win the play after that he hasn't been able to make. Absolutely. If I were him, I would just keep sending pressure. That's that's where you're, you're winning. We're front to be sending six here again. Those two, those line, that linebacker and that four nickelback. Here they come. Big. Well, they get there. Lock picked up. Great defense. The second one did get picked up. You said the, you said the second play was key. Kim finally got the second sack. 
Are you kidding me? That just knocks him way out of field goal range. He can't even take the lead anymore. It looked like Little Man was going to go on to milk this game. Completely went away from that. For some reason, takes back-to-back -back sacks. Great defense by Young Kiv. I think he's looking for that post route over the top. Do that. I, I do not think so. Little Man needs 12 yards right here. He's not going to have anything too deep. Man, pressure off the edge. What a job by Kiv bringing wow. the heat on third down. And now he has to go for it. He's out of field goal range. His life could be on the line with this play. Fourth and 21. If I'm not mistaken, this might be a little premature. I believe there's five mile an hour wind in this game. He may have been able to make it with his kicker if he would have went back to the play call screen and checked. And look at the clock winding down, nearing the two minute warning. Fourth and 21 for Lil Man. Kev's gonna yeah. dial it up right here. You, you gotta figure he's not gonna give him time to throw this. Yep, here they come. He's got time. The pressure he's got picked plenty up of nicely. time. Outside of the pocket, he oh has my the God. man in Moss. He got it. Another first Look down for Lil Man. Come on. Two minute warning. It's what you talked about earlier, Mo. If you're guarding either that corner route or the post route or the hitch, you gotta pick one of them. You can't get caught in no man's land. That's exactly what happened to Kip right there. And little man capitalized on it. Players, you called that perfectly, Mo. Look Kip at the did players, exactly man. what you said he shouldn't do. They are locked in. What a finish we have here of day two. Hand off, mix it. That, that is huge. If you're a little man, you kind of wish you went back to that well, milking that clock. Now you have almost no chance of milking all the clock. Kiv is going to get this ball back. You can't get too conservative because young Kiv is going to get this ball back. You make you want him to have to score a touchdown and not a field goal. 17-16. He got him. He's oh, he threw it early. He has it. Oh, he still caught he it. He caught it in the end zone. Touchdown, little man. He scores, but there's still plenty of time on the clock for that Kim offense. This two-point conversion is crucial. Dude, I got goosebumps right now. My heart rate's going. My palms are sweating, and I'm just up here at the caster's desk. Can you imagine what's going through the heads right now? A young Kevin little man. The pressure. I think it's fullback dive out of the near formation. I think so. Will Kib be it's able to be a fullback dive? I think Young Kib will run commit. It's going to be fullback dive. It is. Sharp. In. He's in. Full seven point game. Buck 53. Who else would you want leading that drive than Young Kib? I want to see that little man touchdown again. I want to see if he threw it a little prematurely and if he caught it because Young Kib has that. 10 cap Brandon Wilson is just 50 some overall. He's not very good. Hey, here's your look, Mo. And that's exactly who it is. That's Brandon Wilson, and that's why he doesn't react at all to that throw. It's a little 10 cap, and it's not just the 10 cap, it's a 10 cap going up against a 97 overall legend Randy Moss. Absolutely. Like Nick, you gotta put it together here. And like Nick said though, who else would you want at the helm to lead together a fourth quarter scoring drive other than the infamous prolific young Kiva? And here's the important part about that drive, Mo. He scored, and yes, he won the touchdown, but he left Kiv with two timeouts. Absolutely, but you would have taken scoring a touchdown at any time down there because you know Kiv is going to get the ball back. He just he put himself in kind of a tough situation where he had to score. There's no need to rush for Kiv. Let us know in the chat. Does Kiv get the tie? One for yes, two for no. Thick. Uh -oh. Wheel route. Oh, Ricky. shook off the tackler. Ricky, run. Ricky Williams. Run, Ricky, run. For all my big brother fans, he tried to tackle Ricky. Ricky used the power of Vito. Breaks the tackle, gets out of bounds, picks up the first down. His hopes of a second of a back-to-back Madden Bowl championship on the line. Oh, it's on. Right at the 41-yard line, takes the snap, looks again, right side. That's Shannon Sharp, takes the hit. Right now, Kim methodically taking some short days to work down the field. Look at the players laughing. They're ready for this. One thing I've already noticed about this drive is how patient young Kim's being compared to his other drives. He was not making those reads earlier in the game. Second and five. Once again, underneath, out of bounds. Kim, real patient right now. Gee, it's something we haven't seen today. And just the poise you need to have, Kiv, nobody puts in as much work as this young man. And to have to stay focused in this situation and execute when your whole season is on the line. But this is why this young man's a champion. He's been able to do this time and time again. Can he do it again? 
First and 10 for Kim. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a deep shot here. Puts Moss out wide left, Rice wide right. Nobody open, gets out of the pocket. Playmaker. Nobody open though, he'll check it out of bounds. What a great user by Little Man. He was pretending like he wasn't guarding that tight end, but he was just waiting for him to come back across the middle. What a finish we're having here today, too. And lucky for us, lucky for everyone at home, we got one more day of action. They hand out that belt tomorrow night on ESPN2. Will Kiv or Lil Man keep their hope alive of a Madden championship? Kiv, right side, oh, no. balls out, but it comes oh, out of bounds. What a hit on Ricky Williams. Stay in bounds, it's game. <laughs> I love Little Man. Hey, I really do. The ultimate competitor. They're down at five. Minute 10 to go, two timeouts go, remaining. Go, go. He's thinking about seven, needs it. Yeah, Kev, you want this first down. You're not trying to sniff a fourth down in this situation. Got him. There it, there is. it is. Wow, what a, what an, I, I, whether he scores or not, I'm impressed by Kiv's adjustment, working the underneath, not looking for the deep pass every play. Absolutely, and that's the type of player young Kiv is. I'm, I'm, I think he got a little too in love with the deep ball early on. It's good that he made that adjustment or else it's going to be over. It was smart of young Kip to get out of bounds to not just to stop the clock, but that was Sean Taylor that was chasing him. Had he tried to spin, could have got stripped or fumbled. Smart by Kip to get out right there, run away from Sean T. Up the team. Oh, no. Oh, pick off. Oh, we saw that drop yesterday. We saw it here on a key drive. Heartbreak for young Kip. What happened there? Just a pass. You need your tight end to come down with it. And he doesn't, that's what's going to happen. You need One your tight end time. to come down with it. You, you need to come down with this. That's a high overall. Is that Moss or Sharp? That's sharp. Sharp. Shannon Sharp. He's like a 98 overall. You cook up the crispy. Oh, that's devastated for young Kim. It truly is. Not over yet. Need some help though. Oh, boom. That's what he's gonna be looking to do. Timeout taken by Kip. As you see, young Kip only has one timeout left. He's only gonna get the ball back with 10 seconds left if he's able to get a stop. How about the fight of young Kip? You just catch one of the worst breaks of your Madden career. Your season about to be over, but then to have the mental capacity to stay into it, land a big hit stick to give yourself a chance to make a play. That's the attitude he needs to have here. Mixon. Thought he had it. 18 yard line. Third and four. No timeouts remaining. Will the champ go out in the first hey, let's go. set of games he played? Wild card round. Third and four to keep the Madden dream alive. You're okay, you're praying. You're praying, little man finds a way to pass the ball here. I don't think you'll see it though. Hand up. Bounce outside. Oh, ball game. Move, ball game. Little man, what a performance by the underdog. And little man knocks out the defending Madden champion. There's Joke, he's pumped. <laughs> Joke's pumped for little man.